So, welcome to the new week. Uh, I have all sorts of orchids blooming. I figured I should probably finally show you. So the pink one from down here is blooming. Nobody else down here yet. Um, but then up here, have some nice sunshine. Uh, Belina, Vilatia Cross, Samira that Judy sent me back in the day. This one just opened up. I'm so excited and it smells so great here. So I'm excited. It's a nice start to the new year. Well, in terms of orchids at least. So let's, I've got my coffee. Hopefully I don't spill it all over the place and let's go out to the garden. Oops, almost just spilled it all. So. I want to make sure Georgie doesn't get out. So here's the roses that I tried to start. They were growing inside okay, but then when I moved them out here, it all died back. So not sure what's going on, but I'll keep watering them and taking care of them. All of the pots with nothing in them, those are where I put pawpaw seeds. A squirrel did dig at it a lot. Um, who knows if that's a pawpaw or like a pecan or a walnut that a squirrel put in here, but we'll find out. Little Mr. Georgie is complaining that I didn't take him with me, but he doesn't want to go outside and I don't want him to go outside anyway. Yep, we're going outside. And then uh, here's the gooseberries that I cut off. Um, some tips on the bushes out in the garden. Ooh, one of them started and died back. So I definitely um, didn't water these guys enough because of the back surgery and everything. It looks like I have at least two survivors, which is nice. Um, and then the multifida. So it's gone. I haven't moved it down to the garden yet because the last two or three nights were 34 or 35 degrees. And that knocking noise is yet more housing construction even this early in the day. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to my life, I guess. Um, while we're here, let's look at the front. So here's the pomegranate from last year that I thought completely died back. But then there's a little bit of a leaf down here. Can you see that? Let's put this down. The coffee, that is. And so here's... Oh, maybe the tip of it died because it was so cold. No. Well, hopefully it keeps growing anyway. Um, I think that's pomegranate. Either that or herbal weed, but I think it's pomegranate. So here's the rest of the flowers. I mowed yesterday. I mowed half the yard. I got through half the yard. Oh, and I think I need to cut off this vine. Um, if I get the house painted, I think I need to cut that so the painters can get behind it. Um, so, fine. That might be a job for this weekend. Um, all the mitt is coming up again. It's some sort of fuzzy mitt. Everything's really dry. We even had a dry conditions, low humidity, fire is possible warning here, which was insane the other day. That's the... That's the day that I watered the garden. I think that was Thursday. Oops, there we go. And then here's that new pomegranate that I just got. They're all covered in the green tulle because of the deer and everything. So, I don't know. Uh, hopefully that guy makes it. Hopefully this guy is good too. This is the last time I plant pomegranates if they don't come up next spring. So maybe for posterity, it didn't start coming up until like the last week of April. So if they don't work this year, then I'm, uh, next spring that I'm putting uh, pears in the front yard. Actually, that'll work out better. Maybe I should even just pull them out now, assume it's gonna fail and this robin is circling. <laughs> Maybe I should just pull them out now, assume they're gonna fail and put the pears in instead. Maybe that's what I should have done. But that one, the further one, is a little bit close to the power lines. I um, I looked up a little too late based on when I dug that hole. I mean, it's symmetrically in front of the house, I guess. But 
I mean, with good, good judicious pruning, it ought to work out right. So, all of the early flowers are done. Um, just waiting on irises now. Look at this disaster. They haven't been here since Monday, and there's trash all over the place. So, let's check my trap, because I saw a groundhog here. I ran after it, and then I sprayed that wolf pee on it. <laughs> so, nobody in here yet. I put it over clover just like last year. Um, smells like wolf pee. <laughs> uh, not sure if this is a walnut or not, but it's candidate for moving. There's a strawberry and a uh, lily of the valley. I kind of put them everywhere and hope for the best. So. I just pretty much mowed that spot over there so that I don't have to be anywhere near the construction guys. Supposedly they're showing up today. I mowed here too. And then the path down to the garden because that's important, right? Some of my flowers are already coming up here. Whatever this pur uh, purple pink thing is. Little shorter orange ones are coming up too. Oh, and something blue. I'm not sure if it's flax or not, so that's come up. And the construction guys, oh, I got extra mad again yesterday. Because uh, they're taking so long, it's all grown in along that fence there, so I don't know if they'll be able to get in to paint it anymore. I have to, might have to wait another year yet again. Everything is not going my way. <laughs> so here's that blue flower that I wanted to show you. Kind of opens up to a flat, I want to say five or six petal flower. I think there's uh, forget-me-nots over there by the frog. Man, I can't believe there's noise so early. So there's definitely frost all over this. I think it was only supposed to be like 34 degrees last night, but I mean, that's that. Look how, <laughs> look, look at how frosty it is here. So uh, that's not the best. I'm glad I had somewhere for the cold air to settle. Uh, hopefully it's not all over my garden because of the, the weeds that I keep around the edge that I don't clean up. Um, let's get this up. I'm going to the garden without spilling coffee all over myself. Come on. There we go. So the fig had its new leaves succumb to the cold over the last two days again, which is a bummer. Actually, one of them is okay, which is surprising, but um, I guess it's starting a node down here a little further down, and then it has the one on the bottom, the basil, too, so it's okay. It's okay. Um, this pear is already starting. It's exciting. Bud's all over. I like how they force the branches on this one, and, you know, it might actually be the perfect candidate for going in the front yard instead of getting espaliered here. Um, I was thinking of getting the, the walnut down there ground down, um, and then replacing it with the sheep of a pear, but now I'm, you know, I don't think, I don't think pomegranates need two buddies, so if that pomegranate from last year dies, then maybe I put one pair up there and one pair back here and hope that the bees do the pollinating game. Um... Since I came and brushed my brush across these blooms of the uh, Geneva Mirabelle pear, they've since died back. So hopefully that pollen took and I'll get myself a pair of plums. What else? Uh, all the currants and gooseberries are growing in nicely. A lot of them are setting in fruit. Oh, I gave the sage some severe haircuts. Do you see that? It's all gone except for the, the basils popping up. So it was taking over and shading out all the beans and everything. Oh, I guess I forgot a branch. Totally missed that right there next to the rhubarb. So um, I made light. <laughs> so I'm gonna 
put some ochre there, I think, and I, I tucked all the sage into this composter here. Even though some of the stems are woody, considering they're kind of pliable, I'm hoping they still rot down okay. So, what else? What else? Let me get over here and see what's going on. This looks dead. The little walnut tree that had sprouted, is it because it was so cold? It totally had live leaves before. Well, hopefully it didn't die. And look at all that Creeping Charlie coming up. Like, how is it even? I need to rip that up. Because I've been fighting it in this pot, too. So, look at, look at the ridiculous amount of blooms on this. I hope I actually get this many strawberries. But it's shading out uh, this gooseberry here. <laughs> so... Focus. So I keep trying to pull this back to get light to the gooseberry. Uh, it's sort of like over there, I keep pulling the strawberries back to get light to the asparagus. So what else do we have? Big pot of mint here with also another dead looking walnut. Man, I guess they don't handle the cold well when they're babies. Uh, mint that hasn't really popped up yet. This sundew made it. I'm so excited. I think it's intermedia and it had reseeded into these pots but they were pretty much underwater most of last year so maybe I need to put a little bit more media in there. Um, or get a shell or a saucer I guess. Um, but I'm excited that I have at least one survivor there which is above the water line. This uh, fern didn't really make it. That one is somewhat growing back. I have the grass pulled over it to give it some shade because it's not a full sun plant. This mint, uh, is it the one that has the runners around the edge of the pot or no? No. So I don't know if it made it. Mojito mint. Um, this one did. I think it's the banana mint. This one is orange mint and it has the runners around the pot, which is exciting. And then this one might have actually made it. Oops, I'm spilling my coffee. <laughs> this is why we're in the garden. And this was supposed to be a pot of shiso that a couple weeks ago a squirrel decided to go digging in where it looked like I actually had shiso plants and not all just weeds. So we'll see what actually happens in there. It's a little bit disappointing. And the Venus fly traps uh, are mostly not come up yet, so hopefully I didn't completely kill them this winter. I swear this is like close to the conditions that they're supposed to have, so who knows. So I'm trying to get over here to see what kind of mint it is, but I think I can't stretch that far because my back is still uh, tight and working on it since the surgery, you know. Uh, the pitcher plants haven't really woken up yet because it's still kind of cold. Um, you can see the little, little tiny baby asparagus in there that I keep trying to open up light for. And these are these are pots that had uh, sarsenia that died in them, which is sad, but this is where I'd get the material for the sundew pots. Uh, nothing in there. Here's the kiwis. I bought in a female kiwi because I think that one's male and the rest of them are female and didn't start. Here's that poison plant, the, the one that goes into making absinthe that never started. Uh, wormwood, I think. Um, I planted more asparagus seeds around these beds, maybe like five or ten more seeds, because the amount of asparagus that I got this year, I mean, some of these are still not fully grown in because they're only a year and a half old, right? But the amount of asparagus that I got in this year was like, I don't know, four mouthfuls, which definitely isn't enough for a meal. And then, uh, field of strawberries. Sitting strawberries everywhere. I thoroughly watered the other day when I was out here watering. Thursday. So I watered everything and then I came out here and did a round two on these path mulch strawberries just to make sure that they were inflating everything well. And we're gonna make me make some big strawberries. Um, I had a radish. It was delicious. It was my first juicy nice sweet radish in forever. Here's some more of them. It was, uh, it was one of the nice little pink round ones. It was perfectly formed. 
right next to the dandelion here, the pink dandelion. So the pink dandelions have been going to seed. So I keep spreading their seeds around. Oh, I guess this, these guys got frosty too. I just don't understand how, um, how frost really works. Um, I had planted the, the Italian leaf broccoli out everywhere already because it looked big enough to me. This might actually be dill, and if it is, I'm excited, and not carrots. I think that's a flat sunflower there too in the middle of the screen. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stare at these uh, strawberries a little bit harder to figure out what's where and uh, count my chickens before the eggs hatch. Is that the same? Oh, hopefully this asparagus isn't gonna. I think because it didn't actually hit 32, it'll be okay. I remember that first time it got down to 20, right? After things were already sprouting and I was worried about it all. Oh, and there's some alfalfa that sprouted in here, which is adorable. Um, so these gooseberries are filling in. This is actually the black currant gooseberry cross. It's either the orisade or the, the other one. Um, I'm excited about this plant. I think this is the one that I'm gonna get fruit from first. And then I transplanted some of the carrots here because this is where I planted the purple carrots. So some of them are really clumped together, so I transplanted them and moved them around. So um, maybe that's it for this week because it's already 16 minutes. Oh, and I hand pollinated the, um, in the middle of the screen there, the bush, the uh, honeyberry with the pollen from the other one that had just finished blooming over there. So then I gathered the pollen from this one on a paintbrush and stuck it in my fridge for when the last one that I ordered comes in case it's blooming or gonna bloom soon. Okay, uh, I'm sure you've had enough of the hammering because I sure have, so till next week.